Welcome! In this video I'm going to be taking a look at this Consiat rechargeable UV flashlight. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon, and if you use that link it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost anything extra. Let's get this out of the package. So here we have the light, but first we'll take a quick look at the manual. So here we have the specs. The wavelength on this is 365 nanometers. It's made of aluminum. Lifetime is 100,000 hours, and it has a 2,000 milliamp hour lithium ion battery. Here's the packing list. It has some tips here. It says take the batteries out when not in use. Do not shine into eyes and keep away from children. This talks about using it. It says open the back cap, remove the insulation sheet, turn on the flashlight. They recommend charging it before use. So let's take a look. So it has a lead on it with a loop. It has aluminum construction. We have a button here. Of course, this is not going to work. We need to take the film out. On the side here, we have a USB Type-C charge port. Let's open up the back. So we'll unscrew this here. And there we have the insulator. And here's our battery. It's an 18650 cell, so this is a standard cell. So if this were to ever go bad in the future, or maybe you wanted to have a spare, you could get a second battery. So we'll place that in there, and we'll put the cap back on. So I saw a rubber gasket on here. I looked on the Amazon description and it does say it has an IPX4 waterproof rating. So you're not going to use this underwater, but if it got rained on or something, it should be fine. So let's try turning it on so we can see a little bit of the light there. Now UV light is invisible to the human eye, but the surfaces it reflects off of can be visible and it can also show some parts of the visible spectrum, but it does have a lens here to try and block as much of that out as possible. So let me try charging this. So it comes with the cable. But to charge it, you'll want to use something like a phone charger or other USB charger. So I have this charger here, and I'll plug in. And we have four little LEDs here around the button to tell the charge status, and each one is 25%. So we're filling up the last 25% of the battery. And we're charging at 0.67 amps, so that can vary depending on the state of charge of the battery here. So I'm going to let that continue to charge up, and then we'll test this out on some things. Okay, the flashlight is finished charging, so let's test it out on some things. So for many applications, it can help to turn the lights off when you're using a black light, but this is pretty bright, and there are some things that will glow, even under light. So I have pretty bright lights here. I have bright lights above me and my camera light here. So this is some UV dye. This is for uh, automotive air conditioner system. So you would put this in your air conditioner system, and this will spray out or leak out anywhere you have leaks, and then you can use a black light like this to find those leaks. So you can see here that this is glowing even under the light. But I'll turn the lights off, and this will have a greater effect. Okay, so now it's a lot darker in here. So if I turn this on, you can see this is glowing. I mean, it's overwhelming the camera, but this is glowing a lot now. Let me pull it back. There we go. So now I'm about maybe three feet away, and you can see that's really glowing. We'll look at the effects of some of this UV dye in a little bit. So next I have this periodic table of elements. So this has a number of different elements in them, and there's one in particular that will glow in the dark if we illuminate it with UV light. It's this one right here. You may know by the position of this what it might be. So I'll take that off, and here you can see it glowing. So that's uranium. Needless to say, it's a very tiny amount. But we can charge that up, and there it's glowing. And it will glow for quite a while. So a UV light like this can be used to find rocks and minerals that glow with UV light. Next I have this glow-in-the-dark 3D printing filament. So we can charge this up with the UV light. So I'll set that on there for a few seconds. And I'll take it off. And here you can see it glowing. So that's still glowing a little bit. Let's do a test here. So here I have two samples that were printed with the same filament. On the right, I have a traditional flashlight. On the left, I have the UV light, and we'll charge these up. And I'll take the lights off. And we can see the UV light is causing this to glow quite a bit brighter than the traditional flashlight. So it's been a number of seconds later, and the one that was charged up with the UV light, it's kind of hard to see on camera, but it is noticeably brighter. Let's head away from my bench for a minute and check this out with some carpet and in the garage. Okay, so here I'm at some carpet, but this is with regular light. And let's try the UV light. And it's actually a little bit hard to see on camera with this bright spot. In person, I can see that, but I'll 
pull it to the side just a little bit, I, or I'll even pull it back. And here you can see some sort of stain in the carpet. I have no idea what that is. I don't know if it's from the dogs, but it's a pretty definite thing that you cannot see with regular visible light. But under the UV light, it glows very well. There are a couple other spots here also. Okay, so here we have a power steering pump out of a Honda Odyssey. There's not much to see here with the visible light, but let's turn this off and let's turn the UV light on. So here you can see a very definite glow. So this cube thing there is a block of foam. It was some packing material or something. And the power steering pump was leaning up against it. So you can see that there's dye on it. So I had put a dye in the power steering pump to find this leak and ended up replacing the pump. It was actually a hose that was leaking, but there is still some residue from this dye on the pump. And it's very, very bright. So I showed before with the visible light, there was some oil on there, but it can be very difficult to tell where it's coming from inside of an engine especially with older cars can have multiple leaks. So with a UV dye, you can put that in, the power steering pump, the oil, there's different kinds of UV dyes for different places, and then use a UV light like this to help find those leaks. But this is a very good tool to have, and there are two parts to it, having a UV dye compatible with what you're trying to test, and a good UV light. So that's the Conceit rechargeable UV flashlight. So I think a UV flashlight this can be a fun thing to play with for looking at rocks and things like that and such, and it can also be a useful tool. So I just demonstrated a couple different things you can use this with. This can also be used for things like curing UV resin, so you could use like a UV epoxy or for doing like the UV nails and things like that. But where I use UV light most is detecting leaks and such. And once you get into using this, if you work on cars and things, it can be a game changer. It can make things a lot easier. But this flashlight worked very well, super easy to use, it just has on or off. It's rechargeable and has good battery life. The Amazon description says it takes around three hours to charge and can be used for up to four hours. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. Thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.